From Television City in Hollywood, John Bynum. I've been doing, I've been doing now for about four or five years, you know, Glenn Campbell, things like that. And I'd pull up to the guard out here and he'd say, yeah, go find a place to park over there somewhere, you know. But now I got this show, right? I got my own parking place with my name, the whole thing. I pull in the first day, I park, get out of the car, close the door, and I'm walking down there. Yeah, I'm really proud, right? I got my own parking place. <laughs> And I get in the hallway, and a couple of ladies are having an argument. And saying, that's him. No, that's not him. That's him. No, it's not him. Yes, him. I got confused. I, said, Ooh, I don't know. Is it me? What? I don't know. I left my wallet at home. Is it him? Is it not him? So I found the men's room. I ran in and looked up the mirror. It's, it's not him. <laughs> and I remember the first time I was recognized. I was, it was right after a Carson show. I was driving along the next morning. stopped at a red light. car pulled up next to me. Bunch of people waving and screaming, beeping the horn. <laughs> I didn't want to look too anxious, so I just sat there. <laughs> and they're beeping the horn and waving and all that stuff. I couldn't take it anymore. I rolled down the window and said, Saw me on the Carson show, right? No, we saw you lose your hubcap about a mile back. <laughs> it's kind of a letdown. You know? Hey, I noticed something about a week ago. I was at a sad movie. I knew it was a sad movie because the ladies around me were crying. <laughs> I figured it out. I said, this is a sad movie. <laughs> See, and then, then I remembered, you know, when I was a kid, my mother used to take us to sad movies. It was Lassie movies. <laughs> yeah, just Lassie go home. Lassie come back. Lassie go in the closet. Lassie drink your soup. Lassie sit there, shut up. You know, and they're all designed to do one thing, that's to make everybody cry in the audience, you know? So, me and my brother, you know, just little kids and my mother would say, oh, It's Lassie, it's coming up. Somebody's got to help Lassie, Mom. she be crying too, I know. You know, but then as, as I got older, you know, about 15 or so, you go on a date, and you don't want to be crying, you know. See a sad movie, and you go, <laughs> Right? And I wonder, why don't men cry, you know? They could use that to their advantage if men would just, you know, not be ashamed of crying. Let's say a guy is driving down the car, they, you know, they can use it to better themselves, you know, to get away with things. Like, guy's driving along, you know, it's... Below this side of the road. You're speeding. I see here on uh, your license here, you were speeding a couple of times before. They're probably going to... Take your license away after I give you this ticket. See, well, I know, officer, you're, you're doing your job, and, you know, we need people like you to stop guys like me from speeding because, you know, we can hurt people. Uh, uh, but I'd like to say something. Uh, can you give me the ticket? I'll have to take the bus to work. Stop crying, get in the car, get out of here. I hate to see a grown man cry. <laughs> do we have to do something now? Okay, folks, we're going to do something now, so uh, don't go away. Please come back, because if you don't come back, we're going to cry. <laughs> Comedy Hour. Tonight's guests, Teresa Graves and Ted Knight. Ladies and gentlemen, John Biner. 
Happy trails to you. California is full of stories and legends about prospectors and lost gold mines and, and gold mines and lost prospectors. And this character is one of those old timers who's been out there hunting for gold for a long time, a real long time. So long that maybe the desert sun is starting to get to him. You ready, old timer? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, I'll be doggone. <laughs> if it ain't no bad luck, Billy, how you been, Billy? Long time no see. Howdy, Lester. Yeah, it's been a long time. Maybe even longer. <laughs> but it got me a gruff steak, and I'm yeah. going back out there, me and Bertha. Oh, how is Bertha? Finest dang gang mule ever walked on two feet. <laughs> I'm going to give me some supplies here. Got, uh, oh, got oh. a little list here. Right. Let me get your pencil ready. No, I'm going to spit on it. <laughs> spit on my list, too. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. Seven sides of bacon. Right. Sack of dried beans. Right. Seven pounds of sugar. Right. Gotta make that eight. Oh, okay. Salt. Right. Twelve sticks of beef jerky. Right. Couple of pounds of pemmican. Right. And let's see now. Like to have me, uh... Six rolls or you know what. <laughs> now listen, how about tools, Billy? You're gonna need some picks out there. Nah, quiet now. I got my own list here. Don't confuse me. Well, all right. Let's see here. A couple of picks. <laughs> Just happen to be up next. Yeah. Ball peen hammer. Right. An axe. Right. Hey, give me a good axe. Need a number five. Right. Now how about matches? Now, what did I need matches for? You give me all that stuff or we'll break Bertha's back. No, you just stick to the essentials. You want to be overloaded with stuff. Right. Hey, give me a pair of jade cufflinks. <laughs> right. Two wide ties. Right. Two wide ties. What colors, Billy? Sunset yellow and dawn blue. <laughs> That's a nice choice. It'll bring out the colors of your eyes. Listen, Billy. It's going to get hot out there. Yep, you're right. With the sun and all. Let me see. It's going to get hot, so better give me a pair of suede shoes. <laughs> some after dinner mitts. Right. And a couple of tennis balls. Right. <laughs> hey, what are you getting for these little bars of soap here? Oh, now you just go ahead and you help yourself. Hey, it's mighty kind of you. Listen, I don't, shouldn't I give you some like kerosene or coffee or nails or. Will you stop pushing off that stuff you had in the back room for years? I don't need all that stuff. Just, uh, just, just give me a map of Japan. <laughs> and a red snapper. Right. Nine boxes of cotton swabs. Right. Cotton at both ends. Hate to use the same one on each year. <laughs> uh, better give me a uh, lace. Right. A uh, case of frisbees. Right. <laughs> Hey, how much of them there little cigars? Oh, go ahead now, you help yourself. Listen, Billy, you need compass out there if you want to find that lost Dutchman mine. Well, don't be going and insulting me like that. I know that bad desert out there that better than you know the inside of this here store. <laughs> okay, now listen, Billy. There are going to be Indians out there. Now, what are you going to do, old timer? I mean, how are you going to look after yourself? Well, let's see them Indians out there. Yep, better give me one of them there Johnny Man Stand Up and Cheer albums. <laughs> <laughs> better give me six more rolls of you-know-what. Pretty calendar you got there. What do you get for her? Oh, go ahead. You go out and keep it. Listen, Billy. It's going to get mighty cold out there, and it's lonely at night. What you going to do for entertainment? Yeah, it is lonely, yeah. Yep, better give me a two-way mirror and a whoopee cushion. <laughs> okay. And a pair of them fuzzy dice and a whip antennae. <laughs> go ahead and add it up now. All right, now, while I add it up, you just help yourself some of them candies there. Hey, what'd you get for them? Oh, go ahead. Now, you help yourself. Well, mighty dinner, sir. You mighty, mighty dinner, sir. Now, listen. When I add this up, it comes to $390.11. Now, you stop on by here tomorrow, and I'll have everything ready for you. Have what ready? Well, all the things that you ordered. Well, I got enough right here in the bag, thanks to you, free and everything. <laughs> you are a sucker. He fell for it again, Bertha. <laughs>